Um, I don't know if you've ever read 2 Samuel 13. Well, it's the account of something sad that happened within David's family, King David. And it's his, his son, Amnon, became consumed with lust for his sister, Tamar. And what happened was a, a plan, um, one of um, Amnon's friends helped him put this plan together. He pretended to be ill and he asked his, his sister to come and see him and to prepare food for him. But what happened was, if I just read 2 Samuel 13 from verse 6 onwards, so Amnon lay down and pretended to be ill. When the king came to see him, Amnon said to him, I would like my sister Tamar to come and make some special bread in my sight so I may eat it from her hand. David sent word to Tamar at the palace, go to the house of your brother Amnon and prepare some food for him. Anyway, so what happened was well, she did, and the upshot was when she was alone with Amnon, he raped her. Now the point I want to make here is David sent Tamar to Amnon. He did, he did it innocently, but what resulted was that she was raped and ultimately Amnon was killed and his other son Absalom went into exile. Now what I want to look at here is how much David had felt. He didn't, mean, he didn't mean anything by it. He thought he was doing the right thing. And what I just want to say is there might be something that you've done unwittingly. Perhaps, perhaps I don't know, perhaps you sent a child out to the shops and they got run over. Perhaps you sent your husband out to buy something and he was attacked. For whatever reason, something you've done innocently has resulted in a tragedy happening. And if that's you, I just want to in encourage you now, even though you're carrying this guilt, that there is an answer. David carried on, he carried on fighting the battles of the Lord. And you can, if you don't know Jesus, the place to bring this guilt that you're carrying around is the cross. You don't need to carry it anymore. Bring it to the cross and let Jesus lift it off you and heal you and help you to move past whatever this tragedy is. He's the healer and he's the one that can help. He'll forgive you if anything, if anything was your fault, he'll forgive you. But whatever the reason, he can lift this all off you and give you a new life, okay? And like David went on to do great things for God, you can too. Your life isn't over. You can get past it and move on.